Hi, I'm Christina and this is a quick book review on The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So this is an adult fantasy and I absolutely loved it, I gave it five stars. So The Midnight Library is a place between life and death and it contains an infinite number of books. Each book contains a version of your life had you made a different choice. So we find our main character Nora in the Midnight Library and she now has the opportunity to explore all possible versions of her life. And I found that such an interesting premise, such an interesting concept. It's like this wonderful mix between fantasy and science fiction. So I read this book over the course of just one day and I haven't done that for a very long time. So I absolutely devoured this book and I thought it was just wonderful. The writing was beautiful and it was so easy to connect to the character of Nora. I just genuinely couldn't put it down. It's a story about hope, about regrets, it's about love and friendship, it's about small acts of kindness and second chances and ultimately acceptance. I thought it was so emotive, so captivating, so poignant and ultimately very heartwarming. It really focuses on how the smallest of decisions can have such far-reaching consequences that you could never have envisioned and how your presence and your existence can affect other people even in the smallest of ways. And I thought it was written really, really well. And I liked the exploration of all of these different lives. So there were many decisions she could have made throughout her life in terms of hobbies, in terms of relationships, friendships, um, like her passions and her career. And we get to see all of that. And I thought it was very, very well done. The book also draws very heavily on philosophical ideas and I will say I thought that was a really nice touch. It really complements the subject matter and I think it adds a lot of weight to the story itself too. So this is my second Matt Haig book and it definitely will not be my last. So last year I read How to Stop Time by him and I really enjoyed that one. I gave it four stars. I thought it was really very well done and again, it was beautifully written. So I've actually already bought my next book by him. So I purchased The Humans and I'm really looking forward to reading that one. It's meant to be a story about aliens. Obviously this one is about infinite lives and How to Stop Time is, is essentially about time travel. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying his work so far and very much looking forward to seeing what he comes out with next. So this is a massively, massively popular book at the moment. It is all over booktube and I know that it won the Goodreads Choice Awards last year for Best Fiction, so the 2020 award. And I think it was like the number one trending book in the world. I saw that on Matt Haig's Instagram. So yes, very popular, very, very hyped. And honestly, I think it's worth the hype. I think it's excellent. And with a lot of overhyped books, you can be disappointed, but I certainly was not disappointed by this one. I think it's genuinely worthy of the hype. I think it does something really well and it does it, it's very special, I think. So I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of me talking about books, please do subscribe. Bye.